Gauss-Jordan Elimination versus Gaussian Elimination, Part 1. Please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. The Gauss-Jordan Elimination Method transforms a matrix into reduced row echelon form, which then directly reveals the solution of the system of linear equations. The Gaussian elimination method transforms a matrix into row echelon form, where we then need to use back substitution to solve for the variables. We have discussed reduced row echelon form and row echelon form in a previous video in great depth. Please see the link to the video in the description. A combination of three elementary row operations can be used to transform the matrix. Number one, multiply a row by a constant. Two, interchange two rows. And three, add a multiple of a row to another row. Next, we will be looking at an example and solve this system of linear equations by using the Gauss-Jordan elimination method. The first step is to write this system of linear equations in the augmented matrix notation. We have looked at this process in great depth in a previous video. Please see the link in the description. We will be working column by column and using the pivoting method in order to transform this matrix into reduced row echelon form. The first step is to determine the pivot row and we want to obtain a one in the pivot position. And this is going to be done by multiplying the pivot row by a constant. We can see that this operation leads to the matrix on the right, where we have a one as the leading entry in the non-zero row. Next, we must transform the matrix to obtain a zero for every other entry in the column. This will be done by adding a multiple of the pivot row to another row. And this operation leads to the matrix on the right. Next, we move on to column two, where we want to transform the matrix to obtain a one in the pivot position. And this will be done by selecting row two as the pivot row and multiplying row two by a constant. This operation leads to the matrix on the right, where we have a one as the leading entry in the non-zero row. Next, we must transform the matrix to obtain a zero for every other entry in the column. And this will be done by adding a multiple of the pivot row to another row. And this operation leads to the matrix on the right. Here we can see that this matrix is in reduced row echelon form because the leading entry in each non-zero row is a one and all elements above and below the leading entries are zero. Therefore, this matrix leads to the solution to the system of linear equations where R is equal to two and S is equal to negative one. Please be sure to watch the next video where we will be solving a system of linear equations by using the Gaussian elimination method. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.